سو بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم احمد ہوا وصلی علیہ رسول الکریم اما بعد ٹڈے ان شاء اللہ ان شاء اللہ علیہ اولیاء اللہ لا خوف علیہم ولا هم یحزنون رب شحلی صدری و یسلی امری وحل العقدتا من لسان یبکہ قولی اللہم ارین الحق حق ورزقنا الطباء و ارین الباطل باطل ورزقنا اجتناب امین یا رب ٹڈے I'm going to show you a very important video. A very important video. And it's good. It's positive. It's something we can look forward to. Uh, it's something we can aspire to, inshallah ta'ala. And that is a miracle that, will, that has happened in our lifetime. You were not aware of it, but I'm going to show it to you now. At the same masjid in which Prophet Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will come down to the masjid that the Prophet ﷺ described uh, by its white minaret uh, in Damascus, where Isa ﷺ will come down, the same masjid that by both uh, traditions of the Muslims as well as the Christians is where also uh, Yahya ﷺ is buried. Uh, during uh, about almost a decade ago, there was a drought, a great drought, maybe harp was used to create the situation to become worse and there was literally no rain for uh, long periods of time and the there was no crops to be grown. So in that situation, one of the friends of Allah, who I will introduce you to today, he did dua to Allah. And the way this, the, the events transpired was that there was a great scholar in Syria that everyone should know. Everyone in the world should know this scholar. There's some scholars everyone should know. Everyone should know, for example, in Turkey, uh, the scholar in Turkey, Sayyid Nursi Rahmatullah There are certain scholars in Pakistan, everyone should know who they were. There are certain scholars in Syria, everyone should know who they are. One of them was uh, Sheikh uh, Ramadan Buti Rahmatullah one of the great scholars of Islam who left a great legacy behind him and his legacy is still continuing Alhamdulillah one of his contemporaries one of his friends Sheikh Ramadan announced well there's been no rain for a long time and it's becoming a crisis so what to do well, let us gather the people in the masjid and let us do dua to Allah and then, and I'll tell you what happened when he announced this idea of the Prophet Wasallam that to gather into the masjid to do dua for the rain. What was the international reaction to that? But anyway, he uh, did this, Shaykh Ramadan Buti, he did this. And he asked this old man, who is a true friend of Allah, who finishes the whole Quran once a week. He asked him, you need this dua in that masjid in which Isa a.s. will come down to. So, I'm going to show you, uh, hold on. So this is Sheikh Ahmed Habbal, rahmatullah alayhi, may Allah bless him. So, uh, Sheikh Sayyid Buti said, let's do dua. And they gathered at the main masjid in Syria, which is the masjid in which Isa alayhi will come down to and which was built and then rebuilt by Salahuddin Ayyubi. Even he's and his, some of his companions are buried there. So anyway, so uh, this is the man. Okay, and I'm going to show you his dua. Uh, this is uh, Shaykh Ramadan Buti rahmatullah alayhi. Uh, let me see if I can get it bigger picture of him here uh okay uh sheikh ramadan uh i don't see a picture of him here but let's see if i can this is sheikh ramadan uh, Buti uh talking with sheikh ahmed habbal so sheikh uh, uh habbal was 110 years old before passing away he had uh, given, I think, almost like a, uh, a lot of money before he passed away to the Palestinians. So anyway, Sheikh Ramadan Buti uh, asked Sheikh, uh, uh, Sheikh Ahmed Habbal uh, to do dua. Uh, this is Sheikh Ahmed Habbal. 
uh, to do dua uh, for rain. And uh, as soon as the dua for the rain had uh, finished, what happened? Uh, as soon as the dua for rain had finished, then uh, it started to rain. So I'm going to show you this event. Uh, also, I'm going to uh, I'm going to um, show you this event, inshallah. So this event is here. So this is the masjid in which Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will come down. This is also the masjid in which Sheikh Habbal did dua. And then I might translate parts of this dua. And at the end, I'm going to talk a little bit about other things that I already repeated, but in a more elaborate way. So it's his dua is not uh, like singing dua. It's very simple. It's only 19 minutes long, but it's uh, it's straight from the heart. It's very powerful. And as soon as he did the dua, in fact, before I r uh, start his dua, uh, let me show you all. Uh, this uh, thing over here. Tackling the drought in Syria, right? Uh, Syria experienced a serious drought from 2006 to 2009. Now, the Sheikh died in 2010. The severity of the effects of the drought has now reached a level which is forcing people to change their coping techniques and to leave their affected region. So, until 2009, this drought was there, and he did this dua in 2010, and he died in 2010. Okay, so now having said that, let me show you another thing before I go over his dua. So the karamat of Sheikh Ahmed Habban. One, once upon a time in Damascus, the city was facing a period of intense dryness, and, uh, and Sham, which is Syria, was in need of rain. So Sheikh Muhammad Sayyid Ramadan Buti Rahmatullah suggested that the prayers of rain be performed across the region. Liberals, journalists, newspaper, scientists, and those who were anti-religious began to mock him and called him backwards. When Muslims gathered in the Umayyad and led the prayer of rain, delivered a khutbah, asked people to repent and turn back to Allah, and then humbly asked Sheikh Ahmad Habbal to make dua. Sheikh Ahmed Habbal was over 90 years old. He lifted up his hands, began to plead to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with tears, and in a state of humility, did not put his hands down except that it amazingly started to rain and the Muslims rejoiced on that day. If you believe in miracles, you see miracles. Okay, so now let us go straight to his dua. One last point about the masjid itself. I'm just reading off of Wikipedia and then I'll show you one more thing about the masjid. The Umayyad Masjid, Al-Jami' Al-Ummawi, also known as the Great Mosque of Damascus, located in the old city of Damascus, the capital of Syria, is one of the largest and oldest mosques in the world. Its religious importance stems from the eschatological reports concerning the mosque and historical events associated with it. Christian and Muslim tradition alike consider it a burial place of John the Baptist. Of course, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will come back to his best friend, Yahya alayhi salatu wasalam. A tradition originating in the 6th century. Now, of course, they're going to be skeptical about it, but this is clearly one of our most important um, uh, eschatological reports. Okay, now let me... So, the Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, thumma yunazzilu Isa, and then Isa alayhi salatu wasalam will come down Isa ibn Abri in the Manar al to the white Minar, the, the white uh, Sharqi Damashq, that will be in the Sharq, uh, the east of Damascus. Okay, so those people who don't think that Isa alayhi will come back, first tell me how did the Prophet predict that there will be a white minaret on the a large very large white minaret on the east of Damascus. How did he first do that? How did he uh, predict that there will be uh, a, a, this even place will even exist, which did not exist at the time of the Prophet So, the building of the masjid was itself a miracle. And uh, then, what? Then, of course, this dua of rain is a miracle. 
and then now the coming down of Isa alayhi salatu will also be a miracle. Let me also show you, let me also show you what this white minaret also looks like, just so you can have a picture of how it will look like when Isa alayhi salatu comes down to it. Okay, now let's continue with this man. So I might translate parts of it and we'll just take from there, okay? By the way, his raising the finger, some of the ahadith mention if you do, uh, one of the ways to do dua is to raise the finger, so he's doing that sunnah of the Prophet He's saying, oh Allah, we are jami'an, all of us are faqir to you, we completely broken down in front of you. Du'afa, some words I have a hard time understanding because old. Du'afa, very weak, Ya Allah, we can't do anything. Allah, we have no control over anything. You, we don't have control over our life, our death, anything. You created us. And you're the best of the creators. And you're the one who guides us. Well, Allah, make us your true servants. Oh Allah, you're the one who feeds us and give us risk from halal. Oh Allah, you're the one who makes and gives us barakah in our sustenance and distance our us and sins like the East and the West. Allah help the people of truth and who are the people of truth. Oh Allah, give us the drink from the Hawd of the Prophet on the Day of Judgment. And he's doing dua, Allah make us Muslim men and women. Mu'min men and women. To the highest level, Akmal Darajat al Iman, to the highest level of Iman. Allah give us a tayyib, a good life. Alhamdulillah for the one who favored us with giving us Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a gift that you were associated with him. And Alhamdulillah for the one who made us, gave us Islam and gave us the ni'm of Islam. So he's telling Allah what the Prophet said about the people of Sham. Allah 
فمن ذلك شفاء وعليك التخلاء ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد الكريم الآباء والأمهات اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد صلاة تملأ خزائن الأرض نورا وتكون لنا وللمسلمين فرجا وفرحا ونصرا وعزا وشفاء وسرورا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد بقدر حبك فيه وزدنا يا مولانا حبا فيه these are these are powerful duas, uh, but it's gonna it's gonna take a lot to explain it. So I'm just gonna skip and go to the easy duas that are just they say what they mean in simple translation. <laughs> Ya Rahim al Muznibin, O Allah, who has mercy upon the sinners. This is very interesting. Ya man indahu qulubul munkasirin. O the one who has the people whose hearts have been broken, meaning who, who is, he is the one who holds the hearts of the people whose hearts are broken. Oh Allah, we ask you by your beautiful names. Allah make us uh, lovers of all the things that you love. Allah, send down upon us the barakah of the skies. And and bring out from us for us from the barakah of the earth. So the barakah of the sky and the barakah of the earth. Ya Mughith, the one who you seek help from. Aghisna, Allah help us, okay? Aghisna bi al-tawfi rahmatika min dalal al-bu'ad. Allahumma akkarribna akhum nasaluka al-khurta bila fila. Ya Rabbi, nahna al-mazimi, bi'atari, 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 Allah, you are our hope.
فعال لما تريد افعل بنا وبجميع المسلمين ما انت له اهل فانك اهل التقوى واهل المغفره يا ارحم الراحمين يا ارحم الراحمين يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم ان ضعاف قومي في رضاك ضعفنا وخذ الى الخير بنواصينا واجعل الاسلام منتهى رضانا اللهم ان ضعاف قومنا وانا ذل ميك اسلام منتهى our height of our رضا of our happiness لا اليك وحدك فاعدنا واننا فقراء ارزقنا واهدنا اللهم دينا لاحسن الاخلاق لا يهدي لاحسنها الا انت Allah guide us to the best character. Allah, your doors are never closed. By the way, he had a business in which he would make ropes and sell ropes. That was his business. So I'm not going to translate the whole dua. I think this is enough for you to get a feel of the spirituality and the taqwa and the yaqeen and the dua and the uh, the effort to become brokenness uh, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the way he is praising Allah and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And um, so I hope you uh, benefited from this, from this miracle that took place. This dua had hardly finished within 19 minutes and that it started to rain. So it's also possible that somewhere in this dua is one of those names of Allah, Allah or one of those things that was asked that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really likes and that he uh, used in these 19 minutes. So uh, you can also benefit from this dua, but uh, the main thing is to uh, to kind of like have an emotional connection uh, with this place and with this person and with this attitude, right? Because uh, one of the great scholars of Islam said, "You are, you know, your whole your whole being is what your whole being is the zok." Or you could say the attitude in which you had your last breath. Everything comes down to your last breath. And the zok, the, the spirit, the zeal, the love, 
the yaqeen, the certainty, the absolute knowledge, the understanding, the zulq that you have your last breath in, that is who you are. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of us and give us a spiritual connection uh, that we need uh, in these difficult times and give us the yaqeen, the certainty we need. Amin. Allahumma amin.